Over the last few days we've been mixing a song analog style, and today we're finishing up the mix. Greetings and welcome back everyone, and if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, drop some comments, questions, and remember to click that bell so you get notified when I have new videos up. Anyways, uh, this uh, little experiment has been uh, a lot of fun, and the results have been uh, better than I thought it would be, as I've uh, never actually mixed uh, this way uh, before in the box. What we've been doing is uh, mixing this as if it was on an uh, SSL disk using uh, outboard gear as uh, inserts. But we've been doing it in the box using emulations of uh, analog gear. Yesterday we wrapped up the vocals and today we're taking a look at the buses, master bus, and uh, doing a final automation on the mix. First we're going to start off uh, tweaking the drum bus a bit. One thing I've noticed uh, is it needs a bit more uh, compression and it's a bit heavy in the lower bass uh, register, so we're going to have to fix that. One thing you probably noticed there is I'm high passing uh, quite high. The slope of the high pass in the SSL channel is very gentle. Probably uh, 6 dB, I guess. Drums sound uh, really good there. And let's uh, check out the bass. Mm. The 
that one's also a bit brutal in the low end. Little magic uh, from an LA2A as well, I think. and with the drums. Acoustic guitars. Electric guitars.
and we're also going to add a bit of a uh, compression on the electric guitar bus one compressor that works like absolute magic on electric guitars is the LA3A <laughs> As you can see, we're not compressing a lot, just barely uh, kissing it. Another thing I noticed is uh, the R's in the second verse need to come down. So we're going to do that on the um, choir group. Through an entire lifetime, just about high time. Well, now it's your time. Let's get on to the master bus here. EQing on the master bus is uh, extremely important to so be very gentle. It's just massaging uh, half a dB here and there is more than enough. A little bit at uh, 60, I think. Oh! 
Tape. I think the last thing uh, we'll do to this mix is some uh, automation on the delay on the lead vocal. One thing I noticed is we don't need it for the entire uh, song. The last thing that. First words, I think we'll use it on only on uh, that first uh, line there. The last thing that you probably will do. Before punching out on overtime, suddenly remembering those which you've ignored and neglected throughout an entire lifetime. Will you some? Uh... Echoes on the lifetime. An entire lifetime. An entire lifetime. Just a fight. An entire lifetime. Just about high time for sure. Let's try a rise right up to uh, zero there. I could be cool. Things like this, you just just need to try out and see if it works. High time for sure. Let's try that with the with the rest of the mix. High time. The last thing we're going to do is uh, doing volume automation on the master track. This is a thing that I um, overlooked for uh, years, but uh, lately I've found um, this is crucial. A smart tip when uh, automating the master track is starting at the loudest part of the song and working your way backwards uh, from there. Just half a dB here and there is does wonders. Let's see. <laughs> There. The last thing that you probably would do before punching out over time suddenly. About high time 
as you can hear, the, um, the automation on the master bus is uh, brilliant. And this really helps uh, certain parts of the song to really uh, stick out and uh, give that extra bit of uh, excitement. What I'll do now is um, just render the mix and uh, check it again in the morning and uh, start uh, mastering. And uh, before you know it, the song is uh, suddenly out on uh, all the, the usual platforms. Anyways, hope you learned something uh, from this uh, series. Brilliant if there's stuff there that you can use yourself. That's it for now. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.